It's incredible that some people have returned already. Yeah. I, for myself, I cannot come back. I, I cannot live here again. I don't know why people are doing all of this. Why? In August 2014, I was in my first uh, class in college. It was my first time to be far away from my family. One day I came back to the, our apartment and I saw all girls, they were just crying. Uh, I asked them what happened for, for this moment we cannot go back. We heard that that ISIS, they, they, they want to take girls, they, 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 we just heard that, that they, they want to, to rape girls. ISIS, he, really, they are not, not, not a human. All my neighbors, they still, we don't know anything about them, many of them, yeah. We're pretty sure that they killed them, yeah. The project started uh, July 2017, which means two years ago. Uh, the idea was uh, to provide primary health care services. So the population, main population are Christian, but uh, many IDPs came from Sinjar, which are no, now more than the population. So they are mostly are, are minorities, which are Christian and uh, Yazidi. Uh, we opened a department for mental health and psychosocial support. In Sege, I'm a social worker. Uh... I like my work because of the main reason I can help girls and women. And yeah. the Yazidi like yourself? Yazidi, they are IDPs. Uh, many of them, they left schools because of these events and they couldn't continue. Any one of them, if they have any problem or, or anything, they are coming to me. I'm a psychiatrist, uh, I work in, uh, since February in, uh, in Seiji with Cordaid. But what are the kind of disorders and traumas uh, your patients are dealing with? Well, uh, till now mostly are um, anxieties, uh, depression, psychological problems related to traumas. All your patients are, are, are women and, and children, I believe? Yes, till now, yes. And uh, all are from Shingal. Those who were uh, like displaced uh, from uh, from Shingal, and really even those who had some problems before, but this event, this huge traumatic event of displacement, um, deteriorated the the condition, even if they had some condition before. And some of them, their problems started from the, um, uh, what happened in, in Shingal because of ISIS. Mm -hmm. uh, Sonita is doing a, a huge work because um, usually I receive these clients referred from, from Sonita. She meets uh, people through her uh, psych social uh, activities like the courses, the uh, awareness uh, sessions, and uh, the cases that she knows that they are already um, having some psychological problems that are diagnosed or they need some help like some cases they were not previ previously diagnosed so she um, refers those uh, those cases uh, to me <laughs> She said uh, when we saw everybody is just running away and at that time they also decided to go to run away from this deposit. And all the night she was running and 
Harvard students uh, see anybody, just uh, the people who were killed. So she saw dead bodies. Yeah. What happened? What happened to the dog? We're thinking it's very important to expand this experience and it's, it is succeeding and we're getting a very good result out of it. Uh, we hope that we can continue because there is a huge need for this uh, mental health and psychosocial support. We hope uh, everyone who is interested to support us, to support Coordinate in expanding through the whole Iraq, those areas that we didn't reach till now, and we hopefully we can reach one day. We, we, we don't need just one or two months to help all of these people or, or, or a lot of them. We need, uh, we need years to work with them. Even if we help them how to, to success in their lives, they will not forget what, what, what happened with them.